Hi everyone, I'm Jake and I just released a really big update for my VR body system which is now rebranded as the Mimic Pro. So I'm just going to go over all of the big changes with you guys so you know what to expect. And the first biggest change is that the legs are now animated completely traditionally. So you can use your own animations or animation tree or graph or motion matching or whatever you have and plug those in to animate the legs, which before I was using a procedural leg animation system, which worked really well, but it didn't give you guys the versatility that you wanted. Like if you, some of you wanted to add climbing or swimming animations or just use your own running animations and you couldn't do that, but now you can. And I've included a bunch of variables like the head height, for example, that you can use to switch between like crouching and prone animations, um, which I'm going to be releasing my own soon. I just need to learn to animate before I can give those to you guys. Uh, but you can just plug those in like you would any other animation graph. The next biggest update is arm length calibration which this was kind of a gamble for me to develop because I had never seen a VR game do it that I know of. Um, so I wasn't sure if there was a reason for that. But now when you calibrate, it'll first calibrate your height and then it'll calibrate your reach and scale the length of the character's arms to match yours. So your upper body will be proportionally correct. And it really, really eliminates like active stretching of the arm bones. And if your, if your arms are too long and if they're too short, it won't always be bent all the time. And it helps out estimation a lot and it makes it feel so much more natural. The next biggest thing is runtime mesh swapping. So you can build a library of your skeletal meshes and automatically take their measurements in a level I included and store those. So when you swap meshes, um, it'll automatically recalibrate with your saved calibration data and you, it's just instant. You don't have to do anything else. I've included foot IK, so it'll do a foot trace and your feet can conform to the ground by default. That's on, but you can disable that if you'd like to. And what else? I improved the forearm rotation. So before, it was relying entirely on twist bones, which meant that if you passed 180 degrees in either direction, the twist bones would flip 360 degrees and break your arm. Um, and they also just didn't look very natural at higher angles. So I added some hard rotation to the lower arm and the upper arm that makes turning your arm a lot more natural and it has a directional sensor so that you can over twist and the forearm won't flip at 360 degrees like it would before. Uh, I changed the turning a little bit so your body should turn a little bit more naturally and I made some improvements to the control rig I optimized it a little bit. Obviously, I, I added way more than I optimized, but uh, I'm kind of ditching the full body IK nodes for linear math because Unreal Engine keeps updating them between versions in ways that I don't understand, and it's making it really difficult to develop for newer versions. So I'm just switching to mostly linear math for the control rig, and hopefully that'll make it a lot easier for me to add support for other skeletons, like the Unreal Engine 4 skeleton, soon, hopefully. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoy the updates. Uh, I kind of invalidated all of my existing tutorials because this update completely overhauled the system, but I will have new ones out as soon as possible. Thank you guys.